Welcome to basic training for the WD Sentinel RX4100 1U Rack Mount Small Business Storage Server. The modern small business needs to get the word out about what they do and how they do it, which means an explosion of digital media, digital videos, photos, audio, uh, like we've never seen before in business. Business still need access to their data, but they also need to collaborate over that digital media. And once that content's been created, they never want to lose their stuff. They want to be able to back up from the store and never see any loss of continuity. And so the solution is the WD Sentinel RX4100. It's a flexible rack mount storage server deployment. If you have a rack, you can use the RX4100 on the domain as a network attack storage. Or you can create a work group storage server for the marketing department where you have unique abilities to share uh, using all the applications on the right hand side. The RX4100 can also be your on-premise cloud where you're backing up and being able to restore all your PCs and with a a Apple File Protocol we're able to also do that backup for Macintoshes. And you're also able to use the RX4100 in uh, off-site disaster recovery. What we can do is give you a demo of the RX4100. It runs the Windows Storage Server 2008 R2 Essentials. In the dashboard you get a, a set of complete tasks to, to use. You can create user accounts for the basic network attack storage scenario where users can access it via password. And so we're creating a, a user account here. You can also give the users different types of uh, read-write access to the shared folders. You're also able to configure your uh, digital media server. We, uh, we serve up via DLNA and UPnP the ability to discover on the network what's on your server. So from your client PC, you'll be able to discover those shared folders. You're able to centralize your your storage and there's a lot of assets on technet.com to tell you how to do that. And finally you can set up email uh, notifications as the server uh, uh, has alerts. After you've done the initial configuration you can always go back and change what the user can access. You're able to back up from the server uh, and restore to your computer. So your computers would have different date and time stamp backup images. You're also able to add server folders to your your RX4100. In the add-in department we've uh, put in Keep Vault Online Backup which allows you to backup this, the server to the cloud and you can also do the same function locally to other, other uh, uh, storage servers. Here we're taking a look at the monitor page, which shows you the health of uh, your Ethernet and uh, your storage. What we're going to do is unplug Drive Bay 3. You can see the monitor immediately de uh, detects that the hard drive is not in the unit. Hard drives are hot swappable with the RX4100, so as I slide in a new drive into Drive Bay 3, it'll discover that you got a new drive and begin the process of rebuilding that drive. The RX4100 comes default out of the box in RAID 5 and the rebuild is uh, already in progress. Finally, one of the more advanced uh, features is you can use the RX4100 as an iSCSI target. This is where you can set it up. So the WD Sentinel RX4100 comes from a family of WD SMB storage servers. We also have the WD Sentinel DX4000, which is a small form factor pedestal. It's about the half the size of most Intel platforms it's by uh, being only 6 inches wide and 8 inches tall. Green power can be deployed in uh, really small offices. And we also have the Arkea Network Backup, which comes as hardware appliances, virtual appliances, and software. In our next WD basic training, We'll cover how to back up the WD Sentinel RX4100 and DX4000 to the Arkea Network Backup Solution. Join us next time. Bye.